Hey, Dr. Anthony here, your favorite dentist. Today, let's find out if your toothbrush is dirtier than your toilet. Let's solve the mystery. Or maybe it's not dirty at all. Otherwise, why would we brush two times a day? With my futuristic germ analyzer, we can see how dirty everything is. Whoa, let's go. Let's compare everything around us, including my toothbrush. Do you think my toothbrush is gonna be dirty? Well, let's find out together. Let's go. Whoa, cool. Up first, let's find out how dirty my hands are. Ooh. Ooh. Oh dear, they're dirty. The first thing that we should do is wash our hands. Bubbles and water. Cool. Get our hands nice and bubbly. Now it's time to scrub, 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 scrub. Let's rinse. Rinse, 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 rinse. Ha ha! They look clean to me. So let's use the analyzer. Oh. Woo! We did it! Okay, what's next? How about this toilet? Ooh, gross! Ooh, it's dirty! Ooh, and it stinks! Let's get out of here! Whew, okay, let's make a quick pit stop at the grocery store. I gotta pick up my favorite type of apple. Ooh, let's go. Ooh, let's grab a basket. Thank you. Oh, my favorite type of apple. Ooh, a red delicious. What color apple do you like? Red, green, or yellow? Ooh, let's take a delicious juicy bite. Wait, it's dirty. Huh? Great catch. We should probably check how dirty it is before we take a bite. Oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. Not as dirty as the toilet, but it still had germs hiding on the surface. Let's give this apple a wash. Scrub, 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 scrub. Rinse, 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 rinse. And just like that, we got ourselves a clean apple. Just like it's important to wash the bacteria off an apple, you need to brush the bacteria off your teeth every morning and night. Since it's clean, let's take a bite. Mmm. Whoa. Chips, my favorite. Let's check out if there's any germs hiding in here. Whoa, cheesy puffs. Let's scan. Oh, it's clean. Probably because the bag is airtight and closed off from the world. Mmm. Before we test our toothbrush, let's test one more. How about our iPad? Three, two, one. Ugh, dirty? I touch this thing like every day. I got an idea. Let's clean it up with some sanitizer wipes. Ah, whoa, how many wipes do I need? Only one. Let's give it a wipe. Can't miss any little bit. Now, let's test it out. Ha ha. Nice, it's clean. We're good to go. Time to test our toothbrushes. We have our old toothbrush versus our new toothbrush. Up first, Let's check out the new toothbrush. But first, do you think the new toothbrush will be clean or dirty? Okay, let's find out. Ooh, okay. Here come the results. Drum roll, please. It's clean. Oh yeah, it's clean. Clean, clean. But now, let's find out if that one year old toothbrush is clean. But remember, Toothbrushes can get real yucky if you don't rinse and store them correctly. Like check out this one year old toothbrush that's been brushed with for way too long. Take a look at the bristles. They're flared in all different directions. And I can see the toothpaste crust. <sighs> Gross. This toothbrush is totally grimy because it was never put in a stand. Instead, it was stored on a nasty wet surface. Totally icky. Ugh. Look at all those bacteria climbing all over the toothbrush. I think it's time to recycle this toothbrush. Hey friends, look who's back, our good friend Chompy. <laughs> oh no, his teeth are looking real colorful today. I think he ate too many colorful snacks. But don't worry Chompy, we'll brush your teeth together with your help. Yeah, and we'll even spell out the colors as we clean. Can you say, I'm ready? Sweet, let's uh, go! Whoa, this tooth turned red from red strawberries. Can you spell red with me? R-E-D. 
red. Yeah. Don't worry, because toothbrushes take all the germs away. Brush, 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 brush. Look at that color fade away. Uh-oh. This tooth turned yellow from yummy bananas. Can you spell yellow with me? Y E L L O W Yellow Yellow Whoa! It's time to scrub off all the germs. Scrub, 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 scrub. Keep up the great job. Ooh! It looks like some healthy green broccoli got stuck in this tooth. It's all green. Can you spell green with me? G R E E N. Gur Een. Green. Brush, 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 brush. His teeth are getting clean. That green tooth looks real slimy. How you feeling now, Chompy? <laughs> Woo! Well, let's keep on going on to the next color. Whoa, you got a blue tooth. That must have been from all the blueberries you ate earlier. Can you spell blue with me? B L U E. Blue. Ooh. Blue. That's one of my favorite colors. Scrub, 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 scrub. Wahoo! Chompy's teeth are looking shiny. Are we done? That's right, we're not done yet. Uh. Woo! Chompy, we gotta make sure your breath smells fresh. So let's brush your tongue. Say ah! ah. Whoa, it's time to scrub off all the germs. Scrub, 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 scrub. All around, all around. Oh yeah, almost done. Good job. Now it's time to rinse. Swish, 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 and spit. Whoa, not on me, Chompy. What are you thinking? Woohoo, nice and dry. Whoa, Chompy, let's see those chompers. They look amazing. We did a great job together. Today, we're turning toothpaste into slime. Step by step, we'll learn how each ingredient of toothpaste makes ooey, gooey, stretchy slime. Oh, and before I forget, ask an adult to help so they can join in on the fun too. We're gonna mix toothpaste with these ingredients to make our slime. You're gonna need some glue, contact solution, and of course, Baking soda toothpaste. Baking soda toothpaste is the base of our slime. Back up. Toothpaste has ingredients like thickeners and sparkle dust. Thickeners makes toothpaste slimy and stretchy, and sparkle dust helps your teeth shine. Our toothpaste has baking soda, which acts as the sparkle dust, which is the ingredient to help clean your teeth. Step two to make our slime, grab the glue and add it in little by little. You're gonna wanna squirt, make, squirt, make, squirt. Once the mixture looks like a cloud, time to add the sticky stuff to slimify it. Don't add too much or else it won't work. All you need it's a squirt! Now give it a good mix. And just like that, whoa! You got ooey gooey stretchy slime! Today we learned that sticky stuff and scrubby bits are in our toothpaste to help keep our teeth clean and also help us make super cool fun slime. Now let's level up and make slime we can eat. You're gonna need some marshmallows, coconut oil, breath mints, cornstarch, powdered sugar, and some food coloring. First, we're gonna melt a whole bag of marshmallows. Mm. Delicious. Once you microwave it, it should look like this. You're gonna wanna ask for an adult to help here because this can get hot. We gotta mix the melted marshmallows, add a spoonful of coconut oil to help it all come together. Now it's time to get minty by crushing up some Mentos and adding them in. Crush up some mints and mix it in to give it that bumpy feel. Uh, it's so sticky. Mmm. Go oh, whip it! It's getting everywhere! It's stuck to my face! This is gonna be a mess! In order for us to play with it, we gotta add some more ingredients because this is not gonna work. We'll add cornstarch, just a pinch, and some powdered sugar. Equal parts powdered sugar to marshmallow. This is where it gets messy. We gotta mix it together and you should get something like this. A gooey, stretchy, minty, edible slime. 
Marshmallow Licious. It's super chewy and it's got a lot of sugar, so you definitely want to brush after this mess. Last but not least, let's add some color. Let's stretch this batch and snip it into two. One will be blue and the other will be pink. And just like that, we have our edible minty slime. Let's give it a try. Mmm, minty fresh. A cake? It's not even my birthday. Did you see that? That was a magic trick. I ate it in one bite. Uh-oh. Whoa! Huh? Where am I? Whoa, cool. I'm in the stomach. Whoa. It's gurgly down here. What's going on? Ooh-wee, my tummy. Uh. We let off a stinky burp down here. Wait a second. Do you know why we burp? Ooh. Well, let's find out. What is that guy doing? He's eating way too much, way too quickly. As we eat, air bubbles travel with the food down into the stomach. See, those air bubbles are trapped and the gas has nowhere to go. Don't you worry, because your body knows exactly what to do. When there's too much pressure in your stomach, your body forces the air back up through your mouth and... Excuse Busy drinks, eating too fast, and talking while eating can all cause bubbles to build up in your belly. Burping is totally normal, and everyone does it. But just make sure to use your manners and say, excuse me. And now the next time you burp, you'll know what's going on inside your body. Now, if you want to avoid burping, here's three rules to follow. One, skip the fizzy drink. Two, don't talk with food in your mouth. And three, slow down while you eat. But if you don't follow these three rules, you'll... Stinky! Whoa. Excuse you, that was super stinky. Huh? Where'd you come from? Hey, brushy squad. Ever wonder how your tongue knows what something tastes like? Hmm. Well, today we're gonna find out. I have a few mystery foods right up here. So let's see what they taste like. Can you guess along with me? Let's go. Today, let's play Guess That Taste. Here comes our first mystery flavor. Let's head on over and take a taste. Oh, mmm, ooh, super sour. My tongue is zinging and my mouth is watering. Another food item. Let's go give it a taste. Ooh, super sweet. I love it, but my teeth kinda hurt. Another food item. Ow. Woo, that pretzel was super salty. Another food item. Oh. oh no. That broccoli was super bitter. <laughs> Sometimes broccoli doesn't taste the best, but it's so healthy. Now that we tasted four different flavors, let's explain how your tongue tastes. Your tongue is covered in teeny, tiny taste buds. Each one is a little sensor, and it helps send taste signals from your mouth to your brain when you eat. That's how we know if something is sweet or super sour or kind of bitter or even super salty. But listen up, here's something super cool. If you want your taste buds to work better, you gotta clean them. Whoa, we got a giant toothbrush. It's time to get scrubbing. So when you brush your teeth, you're actually cleaning your taste buds too. A clean mouth equals better taste. Hey, Brushy Squad, Dr. Brushy here. And today we're learning the A, B, C's of dentistry. We're about to have some fun. Let's go. From A to Z, every letter has something awesome to teach us. From our teeth 
to our smiles. It's time to brush our way through the A, B, C. A is for apple, we crunch every day. B is for brushing to chase germs away. C is for cavities, hiding from view. D is for dentist who wants to help you. E is for enamel, armor that shines. F is for flossing, between all the lines. G is for gums that stay healthy and bright. H is for hygiene, we keep it just right. I is for incisors that chomp with a bite. J is the jawbone that holds teeth so tight. K is for kids' teeth that wiggle and fall. L is for laugh, ha <laughs> ha big smile for all. M is for molars that mash up our food. N is nutrition that keeps smiles renewed. O is orthodontist who straightens with care. P is for plaque, we don't want anywhere. Q is quick rinse, swish water then spit. R is the root where the tooth likes to sit. S is for smile that sparkles and gleam. T is for tongue we must brush while we clean. Use ultrasonic cleaner that hums. V is for vitamins in veggies and plums. W is wisdom teeth the extra that grow. X is x-rays to see the teeth down below. Y is for yellowing, brushing can fix. And Z is for nighttime brushing tricks. Woohoo! We did it! We brushed our ways through the ABCs of dentistry. Every letter has a special secret to keeping your smile strong. Do you ever wonder where your food goes? Huh? I mean, it's gotta go somewhere, right? Well, today, we're gonna find out. It looks like we're about to get swallowed. Let's go on a journey inside the body. Oh, hey, we're in the mouth which is where digestion starts. Chewing breaks food down to tiny pieces. And your saliva, yes, your spit, has special enzymes that begin breaking down food before you even swallow. Well, it looks like we're all done here. It's time to head to our next location. Let's slide down the esophagus. Welcome to our next location. We're in the... Stomach! Woohoohoo! It's like a bubbling food bath down here. I love listening to all the pops and gurgles and burps. Your stomach adds acid and mushes everything together into a mixture called chime. It's time to move on to our next location. Let's go! <laughs> Woo! We're here in the intestines. The intestines are like a super long tongue so your body can absorb all the nutrients, vitamins, and energy. And whatever your body doesn't absorb, well, it becomes ooh, stinky. Your body needs good food to grow strong, think smart, and play hard. Your body loves fruits and veggies, whole grains and proteins. This stuff is okay every once in a while, but if you eat too much of it, it'll leave your body feeling bleh. And we don't want your body feeling bleh. Now that you know how your body turns food into energy, your brain and body can be charged up. The next time you eat, just imagine the wild ride your food is about to take. I'm Dr. Brushy and subscribe to make brushing fun.